Welcome to the one minute prayer for the dead. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 34, 41, and 46. Then the King will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then he will say to those in his left, Depart from me, you cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Our reflection on afterlife realities will be incomplete without pondering on Jesus' discourse on the final judgment. In this judgment scene, the Son of Man sits on the glorious throne as the King. What takes place first here is a separation. He separates the righteous from the unrighteous. Then he will say to the righteous on his right side, who did good to the poor and the needy, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And to those on his left, he will say, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. The central teaching of this parable is that eternal life or eternal punishment are two possible final destinies of human beings. We are not predestined, but our actions determine our destiny. Although God's mercy accompanies us, ultimately it is our own choice. Moreover, the Lord makes it clear that the criteria to inherit the kingdom is our attitude and activity towards the poor and the needy. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 31 says, He who is generous to the needy honors God. God takes our dealing with the poor personally. Jesus confirms this saying, I say to you, as you did it to the one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. The Bible abounds in teachings on our responsibility towards the needy as a condition to be God's people. To cite a few, Isaiah 58 verse 10, If you pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfies the desire of the afflicted, then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noonday. Deuteronomy 15, 11 says, You shall open wide your hand to your brother, to the needy, and to the poor in your land. 1 John chapter 3, verse 17 and 18 says, But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, it closes his heart against him. How does God's love abide in him? Let us pray. Father, we believe that your Son, whom you appointed as the judge, will come to judge the living and the dead. May we be counted among the righteous ones who inherit the gift of eternal life. May Almighty God bless you and all the consecrated people who died, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tomorrow. 